Greetings, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Dr. Fezzel Sum here, board certified radiologist, and I'm here at the Healthcare Connect um, conference for hospital radiology directors and hospital CEOs were here. And I wanted to share a couple of thoughts um, as I reflect back on and I meet with radiology directors and CEOs uh, about radiology implementation. So the thing to, um, I want to communicate, the thing to think about is that radiologists or teleradiology and radiology implementations are messy affairs, right? So when a radiology group leaves or a teleradiology group leaves and in their wake, a new group comes in and a new teleradiology group comes in, um, it's a messy affair. Things are just Things are left behind, work lists are exploding, uh, IT systems don't work, there's a lot of credentialing paperwork, there's, there's a ton of things to, to take into account and to, to work on. And um, a lot of radiologists who are looking for positions uh, want everything to be perfect. This is particularly true with W-2 employed radiologists. They want, you know, all the technology perfect, um, the credentialing just taken care of and no back and forth and they don't want to deal with any issues whatsoever. Um, that's a really huge mistake because if you just wait for those kind of positions, oftentimes those are the lower paying positions because all the work is essentially done, right? Like it's all too perfect. Uh, what I find is when you go into uh, a place where it's kind of a disaster zone and you work through it, you can actually command much higher rates and you can actually get a lot of uh, your needs met by the situation that's, uh, that's present, right? So. Um, like anything else worth doing, worthwhile doing, the start is not where you're going to be finishing at. So uh, keep that in mind when you look at teleradiology opportunities because when we go into a site, it gives us a lot of uh, opportunities to fix a lot of things to, way, to the way we want it to be, right? So that includes schedules, that includes um, IT systems, uh, working with the radiology director, any on-site radiologist, that sort of thing. And I've talked to many radiology department directors who then recall, you know, how we were there from the beginning and um, how we, you know, took them out of their uh, morass, so to speak, and, and got them to where they're now functioning. And they kind of remember it almost like a wartime effort. Like it was like, you know, they were in battle. We were in battle together. I just had a conference with a, a call, um, a meeting with a radiology director here at this conference. And um that's exactly what we're talking about. We're recalling all the instances where the work list was just going crazy at 12 a.m. and how our radiologist came in and helped out and we saved the day and we improved uh, turnaround time and we, we did a lot of things to improve quality. So keep that in mind when considering new teleradiology opportunities. We're oftentimes going into um, post-radiology disaster sites where a group may have left or a big box company has thrown out. Um, so don't wait for everything to be perfect to get started because oftentimes you're not going to be able to get um, the schedule you want or the pay you want and, and that sort of thing. So just some thoughts to consider. I'd share that um, while I'm here. Thanks.